the three meanest zodiac signs. I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a natural intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, empathic, psychic tarot reader, and I would love to do a personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading for you. Please contact me at lamartownsendtarot.com for your own personal tarot reading or birth chart reading. If you have any questions, check out the FAQ section as well as the personal ethics section. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification button, meaning the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Also, please follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official. The links will be down below in the description box, okay? With that being said, the three meanest zodiac signs. Now, the zodiac signs I'm about to talk about are known for being mean. So I don't think, you know, these people, these zodiac signs are going to surprise you. Um, chances are you probably come across one of these zodiac signs and they were probably mean to you, rude to you. I mean, these zodiac signs are known for making people cry, you know, really getting people in their feelings. All right. So let's just get into it. Okay. The three meanest zodiac signs are Aries, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Not surprising, right? Well, let's talk about this because two of the zodiac signs actually have a lot in common. All right. And that's Scorpio and Aries. And they're both ruled by Mars. Mars is the planet of war, destruction, aggression, sexuality. So naturally, these people are very domin dominating uh, dominators. Uh, they like to dominate situations um, and they like to be in control. They always like to have the upper hand, which is, which is actually something that all three of these zodiac signs have in common. They like to have the upper hand in situations. But with that Mars energy... Aries and Scorpio um, have a self-confidence about them that is kind of indestructible. That's kind of unbreakable, right? Um, and it's just natural in them. You know, they have kind of a natural aggression in them. They have a natural kind of tendency to just put people in their place, put you in your, your place if they feel like you're getting out of hand, right? So, but the thing is that Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto. So Pluto gives Scorpio an, an added layer of kind of, um, of sting, I guess. Like when a Scorpio comes at you, it's like, it's, it's, it hits harder. It hits, it hits in the gut. Whereas like when a Aries comes at you, it, it probably will just hit your ego, right? A little bit, you know what I'm saying? Or if they have Scorpio in your chart in their chart, I mean, you know, then you might have a problem, but you know, Pluto is all about uh, transformation, spirituality, um, death, transitions of life, the life and cycle of uh, the cycle of life, right? Um, transitions in life, transformations, you know, big events that kind of changes for the better, right? But with that being said, you know, Pluto gives a Scorpio an added layer of kind of ability to see beyond the veil see uh the truth of a situation or a person which is why when a scorpio comes at you and really gets you in your feelings it tends to you know hit you in the gut it tends to you know kind of go past your ego kind of slice through your ego and just kind of get you right in the heart get you right in the gut because they know the truth they see all your flaws you know no matter and it's interesting because a lot of times when people try to hide their flaws that's when scorpio can see your flaws the most clearly is when you're trying to hide them right um, you have to remember that Scorpios are very subtle people. They are kind of the masters at wearing their heart on their sleeve, but not wearing it so much that you can see it. You know what I'm saying? It's covered up. It's hidden, you know? That's kind of how all the water signs are. They wear their heart on their sleeves, but Scorpio is much more protective of that heart, I think, on their sleeve. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, and Saturn um, is a very tough, loving planet. Saturn rules time past the past karma date uh debt i'm sorry weight illness uh the psychological mind um hard work work ethics self-discipline things of that nature so naturally capricorns are very strong people you know um saturn makes capricorn like a diamond in the rough kind of you know capricorns tend to sometimes come from tough backgrounds tough like maybe tough childhoods you know and they tend to rise above um the situation much like aries and scorpio actually uh you know one thing i i will say about these zodiac signs is you know they don't 
<laughs> their rep of being mean, their rep of, of being, you know, rude and mean, it, it doesn't come without a price. Does that make sense? Like, and that's probably not even the best way to word it. It doesn't come without reason, you know? Um, there's a reason why they're mean. They just don't, there's, no, I won't even say there's a reason why they're mean. There's a reason why they're viewed as mean. Capricorns, Scorpios, and Aries do not have, they have a very low tolerance for, for B, for BS, okay? For bullcrap, all right? Capricorn probably has the lowest tolerance of them all. You know, Saturn makes Capricorn, um very discerning to people who don't take life seriously, very discerning to people who feel entitled and want things handed to them, you know, and, 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 you know, very discerning for people who don't, you know, who have to get stuff handed to them, but they don't have to work hard for it. They don't have to go through, you know, the trials and tribulations, the tests, you know, the obstacles that make you stronger in the process of attaining what you want, right? Capricorn, has to go through that. Anything Capricorn wants, Capricorn has to work for it. Saturn's going to make sure Capricorn works for what they want. Capricorn can b pretty much basically never take the easy way out in any situation. Capricorn has to work through whatever they want. They have to work through and work towards whatever they want, right? The great thing about that, though, is that it builds character. It builds it builds strength. It builds uh, reliability uh, uh, on self, right? Um... So because of that, Capricorns have a low tolerance for BS, okay? And they're not afraid to tell you, all right? Capricorns are seen as the Scrooge of the Zodiac. And it's that Saturn energy. Saturn is, um, you know, Saturn, happiness, you know, I wouldn't even say happiness. Uh, you know, Saturn cares about strictness and and discipline you know and restricting oneself and you know um working hard for what one wants you know saturn is not all about roses and happiness and harmony and friendship and beauty like venus or you know um you know all about the mind intelligence communication like uh Mercury, you know what I'm saying? No, Saturn is all about, no, you need to improve yourself. You need to work hard at what you want. You need to build character. You need to build strength. You need to build inner strength. You need to learn to rely on yourself. Like, Saturn is all about hard lessons of life, you know what I'm saying? So, Capricorns, you know, are going to teach you a lesson as well, you know, if you try them, all right? So, you know, one thing about these zodiac signs are that they are, vi by the way, I'm a Capricorn, so... Don't try me, all right? Um, the wonderful thing about these zodiac signs is that they're very strong. They're very strong zodiac signs. They're very strong people. People with uh, Scorpio, Aries, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you know, um, are very strong people, all right? Um, you know, and they don't take crap from anyone. And I think that's why they're seen as mean is because they just don't take crap from anyone, you know? Um, and it's <clears throat> frustrating, I'm sure, sometimes for people who have to interact with us because a lot of times, you know, and it also depends on your houses and, you know, other placements in your chart, but, you know, a lot of times these signs will kind of be happy-go-lucky, you know, they're not always mean, you know, but when that mean side comes out, when that side of putting you in your place comes out, putting the boundaries up, saying, whoa, buddy, back up, don't try me, you know, Oh, you know, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio is so mean, you know, they're not allowing me to, you know, exceed the, those boundaries anymore. You're darn right. We're not going to like uh, allow you to exceed those boundaries. You know, you're darn right. All right. Capricorn, Aries and Scorpio, just if we're mean, that's OK. I'm OK with that. You know, um. I would rather be mean as a Capricorn son. I would rather be seen as mean than be seen as a pushover, someone that people can kind of manipulate or kind of, you know, um, use for their benefit or their will, you know, like that's not going to happen, you know, um, mind you, you know, Capricorn is the zodiac sign of I use, you know, um, and Aries and Scorpio are definitely manipulative in their own ways as well. So, 
I'm just saying, um, you know, these are the reasons why I think, in my personal opinion, these are the meanest zodiac signs, and these are the reasons why I think other people would see these zodiac signs as the meanest zodiac signs. I, as a Capricorn, am okay with being seen as mean, all right? Listen, if you ask a lot of people, certain people in my personal life, they will tell you at one point I was probably mean to them, you know? Sometimes we have to be mean to get our point across, you know? But it, usually it's all love at the end of the day, depending on the context of the situation, right? With that being said, I hope this video kind of gave you some clarity and insight, not to say that any of the other zodiac signs cannot show mean tendencies. Don't get it twisted, because they can, all right? And that will be a separate video, all right? With that being said, thank you so much for uh, listening and watching. Please contact me at lamartownsandtarot.com, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQ section and personal ethics section. You can purchase your personal tarot reading or birth chart reading directly from my website. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell, all right? And follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links will be down below. All right, thanks. See ya.